I'm just gonna wait for the timer to tick down because I already won. All right, you guys, uh, welcome back to Monster Truck Championship. I know it's uh, probably kind of been a minute since um, we've done an episode, and I know the upload schedule has been kind of weird for about a week or two, but hey, we're trying to come back and do some more um, some more live streams with the show. You know, Austin and I, or Tweety and I, sorry. <laughs> we're, um, we're finally, you know, settling down with the, the season. We've got the next couple of months off as far as shows, and... I know we probably already thanked you guys. Um, I'm, I'm recording this before um, the Monday stream, but seriously, thank you guys for helping us reach to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, uh, helping us finally reach monetization. It's it's seriously an awesome feeling to think that this project that we started uh, just with the concept of monster trucks, and here we are, you know, in the industry full time, and you know, we have this channel, or not even a channel, we have this community with such awesome people that support, love, and support what we do. And honestly, it's just, it's a true humbling and awesome feeling. So seriously, thank you guys for being with us. Uh, whether you're new to the channel or been with us since the very beginning, you guys are awesome. We really greatly appreciate it. And, you know, here's more to come. You know, who, who knows what's going to be in store for next year or years to come with, with, this, uh, with this channel and this group. And, you know, I, I, I'm really looking forward to it. But enough about that. We're going to jump straight back into uh, Monster Truck championship because i told you guys i'm going to finish this game i'm not half-assing but i am going to show you guys because i made a promise in the last video that i was going to up the difficulty so i'm going to go back and do exactly that if we go to options go to gameplay i cannot up the difficulty <laughs> oh crap if i wanted to up the difficulty i'd have to completely reset the career Ah, uh, okay, well, crap, okay, well, I guess we're going to have to just finish it with uh, medium, because I don't know about you guys, but it's, I don't want to restart this career, I'm honestly looking forward to finishing it, the game's been a lot of fun, but I'm, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying some other things uh, on the channel, some, some new and improved stuff, but... Let's, uh, let's jump straight into uh, what is it? Ultimate Monster Smash uh, in Salt Lake City and Orlando. So here's to what was it? the major leagues. Let's go. We have fantastic weather and atmosphere here in Orlando, Florida. So new competitors, new identities we get to race against. So Mr. Clark, Evans, O'Connor. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the... French guy, Gonzalez, Walker, and stronger than me. Um, Alright, three laps. And, wow, there's some rinky-dink looking trucks here. Alright, like I said, it has been a minute since I played, so hopefully, hopefully I kind of remember. I just remember the, the controls are so finicky on this, in this game. And my truck likes to Break parts relatively quick. Oh, he brake checked me. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. I I do enjoy the kind of like the open world uh, racing in this game, but it is just way too. This course itself is just way too um, tight. As you can see, it's, you, you have to find like the perfect opening or to get up, oh, well, like that. Find the perfect opening to get around somebody and just rely on the AI to just ding themselves off the wall and you'll be fine. Uh, gaming tips with Spence, how about that? I can just get around them and straight to first place. So. I know we're going into like the last part of this game and those of you that just kind of like have this playing in the background or you're actually playing along like maybe you don't want to buy the game or you just not sure it is relatively fun I will say that it's it's kind of different to be playing a game that is not a licensed 
a company game. Like, you don't see Gravedigger, you don't see Max D, you don't see any, like, Monster Jam esque identities, or even, like, really any real life identities. So, you don't see Bigfoot, you don't see some of the other independents or anything like that. So, it's just a very raw outside perspective on what. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna just do. I'm, I know I was going the wrong way, that's why I'm turning around. I can't see behind me. Let me go to third gear. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> it's just interesting to see like a, a, a different gaming company's like opinion as to what monster trucks are. Um, the physics, obviously, as we can tell from this game, are not the greatest. Um, if you want anything remotely close to how a, a real truck actually handles, rigs or rods or BMG will be your best bet, thousand percent. I mean, if you drive it like an actual, you know, how you normally would, you know, that's the best that you're gonna you're gonna get. But as far as like an arcade game, this game has been quite a bit of fun. I really do not care for the repetitiveness. I mean, there's not really any. I feel like it, since the very beginning of this game, there's just been very, um, like we've unlocked everywhere that we're gonna go. You know what I mean? So there's no like new areas, new stadiums, new venues, new different type of track layouts that you get to unlock like you kind of have everything unlocked from the get-go unless there's something uh, to come here in the future I don't know but I mean the little attention to detail like just on the uh, like on the stadium seats for the banners they change the logo that's kind of cool I will admit that's kind of cool little attention to detail but the tracks are definitely repetitive People here in Salt Lake City are really pumped, and I've got a feeling this show will be amazing. In this competition, we're going to see the drivers wreaking havoc. Neither wood, plastic, nor steel can survive under the huge wheels of their... And another driver started off. Definitely going to be wreaking something, because I'm just terrible at these uh, destruction events. Just Combos are everything. You just got to... Even though the combo sometimes doesn't want to work with you there, like it did it on me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Six, seven, eight. Here comes the backflip. Good speed and awesome rotation. Come on. Oh, got the second place already. Ah, crap. All right, there we go. I almost said back on all four BKT tires, but not actually. But, um, so with the uh, show's really coming to an end, as far as just, you know, the monster truck season in general, I'm generally curious, like, you know, what is everybody's plans? Like, everybody just kind of recuperating, getting ready for 2023. Um, like, are there any events that you guys are looking forward to? Are there certain topics or people that you guys want us to interview and talk to on the Throttle Out show? There's just so much that we're looking forward to doing here in the coming weeks, even in the coming year. It's it's just crazy. Honestly, there's just not enough time. And we're, we're just so excited to get back to like the swing of things. Like, you know, we just have so many like on the road stories and shenanigans that we all got into. And we just can't wait to share them all with you guys. I mean, it's just gonna be so much fun. I'm just going to wait for the timer to tick down because I already won. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Track crew, come flip me over. People here in Salt Lake City are really pumped, and I've got a feeling this show will be amazing. Brace yourselves for the Clash of Titans. The one thing that is, speaking of repetitiveness, the freaking announcer. I mean, my gosh, dude. More new dialogue would be great. I forget in drag racing it automatically starts you in first when you uh, when you let off the line. What in the world? This is the major leagues. Why am I? A. I haven't really broken much on my truck. I should probably shift. And I am just bus lengths ahead of this guy. Okay, like honestly, I have not played this game in a couple weeks actually. Um, kind of give you guys an update. I went home back in Michigan to visit my family, visit my wife, and came back. Uh, somebody, not going to name who, um, took the ride truck and while I was gone, and it broke. Uh, 
So as soon as I came back to the shop after being gone for a week, I had to do an engine swap. Really wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, it was an old tired engine anyway. It's just funny, like, I finally take a vacation. Some vacation time and I come back in, my truck's broken. Um, <laughs> but it was fine. A couple long, I mean, we literally had three days and immediately go out to Montana, which that venue was just so kick-ass. The fans were just loving every bit of it. Um, the drive was just a lot of fun. The, the scenery was great. But, and then after that, like, immediately had to come back and get everything ready for this Wisconsin show that we just did. And now we've got a week off, and then we've got our big team show, which is Granite City Motorsports Park. It is the, it, it's almost like having home field advantage in a weird way with Triple B Motorsports because our boss owns the track and it's all of us against each other. So everything that everybody has learned with, you know, or basically has gathered throughout the year, uh, it's going to be facing off against each other in one big show. It's just going to be an absolute blast, and I'm looking forward to it. But hey, look at that. We just uh, sweeped in an entire event, so that's cool. And we got the sponsorship challenge done, so cool. That's one, done, uh, one, one and done. Completely swept the whole ordeal. Repair cost was just shy of three hundred dollars. I will take it, and we pocketed ninety six grand. That's a win in my book. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do the monster marathon and total destruction. Whew, maximum reward for monster marathon is almost two hundred fifty k. I love it, but we got to go back and get a new sponsorship, and we will go check out in the garage and see what new parts we may have unlocked. Some new sponsors. Uh, espionage, so the challenge is to perform a nose wheelie three times, uh, get 4,500 score points for a single long jump, okay, perform a bicycle and backflip combo. That is the duration of three events, okay, green lap oil, uh, perform a somersault and a wall backflip in one combo, win three drag races without resetting the truck or restarting at a stage, get 5,000 score points for a single sidewall. One in one time, and that's two events. Um, five times, uh, two times during one event stage, perform a sidewall. Three times during one event. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the easy route, honestly. Like we're not hurting too much as far as money goes, so we'll go with N Nante. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but yeah, just win one race, the event stage, uh, get 2,500 score points in a single service or a donut. Easy, no big deal whatsoever. Um, garage uh, performance. Oh, we got. I think that'd be the last set of tires that you unlock. Oh, oh, mama. Those are meaty looking tires. Look at that. Those are like fresh, brand new Firestone straight from the factory. Fifty grand. We we got the money. We'll, we'll, we'll buy them. We'll put them on. Okay. Um, body paint. Storm Rider. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Bahala Warrior does look kind of cool with the, the Thunder. Ooh. Yeah, screw it. We'll mix it up a little bit for this one. Um, stickers. Absolutely not. So we'll go to... Paint type, here we go. Whoop. Okay, so what's my base color? Okay, so the middle of the lightning's gotta be white. Oops. As it should be. This should be like a, eh, maybe more like a darker blue is color. We'll see what happens here. And then we'll change this to like a black. How's that look? Oh. That looks, that looks pretty badass, not gonna lie. We're gonna run with it. All right, cool. Save changes. Fresh paint, new meaty tires, and we'll run on the next one. Monster Marathon, here we come. We're in Foxborough, Massachusetts, and the stadium is bursting at the seams. In this racing contest, we have a few really good drivers, but only one of them can win. 
Now's their chance to prove who is best. Did you hear that? He said we have only a few good drivers. And say the best because, well, let's be honest, I'm the best. All right, get out of my way. Oh, Lord. That almost hurt. All right. Truck's a little all over the place. But I mean, what else is new? This is a four lap race. Really not that big of a deal. And I am just trying. Okay, that is just asking to flip over there, sir. Super force toaster truck, excuse me. I mean, good lord, medium difficulty isn't even, like, really a difficulty. Kind of disappointing. Oh, up, oh, spoke too soon. Decided to bounce off the wall and the sign. I deserve that. Don't hit me. Thank you. Ah. All right, well, spoke too soon, decided to, decided to jump onto my competition. I'm sure he didn't feel that. I'm sure he's fine, right? All right come on. I am not gonna get beat by a toaster. Feels very dumbass over here. See ya. Grab walking in the corner. Let's go. Ah! Don't hit the sign again. Don't get squirrely. All right. Did he turn a little? Thank you. Shift. Go, 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 go. Power through, let's go. A little bit of a wiggle wiggle there from the rear end. Well, that's not gonna do me any justice for um, trying to keep my repair costs low for my right front there. Oh, whoa, I... You know I'm far ahead when you spin out in a corner and you don't even see the competition. Like, my goodness. Alright. I just got one more corner and that's it. That's another first win. Oh, never mind. That's the finish line right there. Ignore me. Oh, that's not good on the paint. I'm sure it's fine. Today we're in Charleston, West Virginia. And now's the time for a freestyle challenge. But who will win and collect the prize? Sit tight as we're... Another driver started to run. Bit of a long jump, high jump, whatever you want to call it. Well, okay, not sure what happened there. Dang it! That didn't go the plan. No, no, it definitely did not. I didn't know what, what end this truck was going. I'm not sure if this one is the single or... Uh, or if, I'm sorry, not single. If, if it's got okay, crush cars. I'm. What are you doing, physics? 
put me back on my side. Just put me. We are already halfway through. It didn't work out well. No, it didn't. I hate the announcer. I hate him so much. I have no idea who he is. Like I'm sure he's a great person. I'm sure he volunteers with like kids at like hospitals that are like dying of you know crazy diseases or dog bites or something. But in this game, I hate him. Generally, I, I cannot stand this man. Great wheelie across the track. Nose dive into a somersault and back on four wheels. Back on all four BKTs. Nice bicycle there. Okay, I'll take third place. Not my grace. Up, oh, track crew. I'm stuck. Someone please get me, get the loader. Today we're in Charleston, West Virginia. The biggest trucks will compete in the drag race contest, but only one can become the winner. Easy peasy. Last event, then on to the next one. I don't know why they call it a, they they call this like a drag race because drag racing is typically straight line. Oh boy! I'm trying to pay. I'm trying to pay more attention to my screen. Yep, I got him. See if I can look at him as I go across the finish line. There he is. Hi, buddy. <laughs> since I was in this. Oh wait, no, they're putting me in the other lane. I don't know what lane I'm in half the time. Oh no you don't, Evans. You're not winning this one. I said you're not winning this one. I said no. See? Whew, he actually had me a little worried there for a second. I thought I was going to actually lose. Alright, last event against Clark with the AutoZone blower on his hood. You know, something that would be really cool, I don't know if there's like a development team that would consider this, but if there was like a career mode we could somehow incorporate in BeamNG with like an economy system or just something. Because we know Monster Jam are gonna make a game like that. So we might as well do it, right? Right? But anyway, well, that's three events down and swept it again. Look, mama, I'm a millionaire. All right. Well, I've already knocked out the uh, sponsorship, so I should probably grab another one. Um, let's see. Two events. Yeah, we could do this one. Uh, garage. Do we have anything as far as not body and appearance? Desert Warrior. That doesn't look too bad, but I'm not paying almost a million dollars for just a body. What's even left? This. I don't even know what that is. Ew. Like it, but not with the paint scheme. Absolutely not. Hell no. Yeah, we're probably just going to finish it off. Even if I change up the paint scheme, we're probably going to keep the, the, the body style that we have right now. Um, oh, Lawbreaker. Gee, I wonder what truck we're going to be a parody of from there. Management. What what keeps glowing up? Sponsors? Is there more? Oh, yeah. Okay. Not too worried about it. All right, let's go to Total Destruction. And it's just Race and Destruction. And then... Yeah, well, I say we'll just do the three and call it for this video. I see Kansas City is definitely ready for some monster trucks because the stadium is literally packed. Uh, you say packed, but I'm seeing some opening, open seats up there in the nosebleeds. That's like saying, we have a sold out crowd, then why can I see open seats? 
Not everybody in the top row is at concession stands or merch booths. And gone. Yeah, definitely gonna have to do something about the uh, the difficulty for sure. I mean, well, we already looked at that in the beginning of this, this beginning of this video, and I can't. Like, I literally once you're in career mode and you're dialed in, it's like you can't change anything. Like, it's it's set until you finish it, um, which sucks because I feel bad that I'm just going around and just you know, driving around these guys, but I've already said I was going to finish this, and I'm so far deep into it, I might as well just, you know, finish with what I got, and then we'll move on to the next video, or series, or whatever we end up wanting to do, um, something I've been wanting to do for a long time is put on a pretty big event uh, for Throttle Out with our friends from Beam Monsters, uh, some Beam G Monster Truck action. Um, not entirely sure what I'm wanting to do. Um, part of me wants to do a mini series with some of my really good friends. Uh, other part of me wants to put on a really big, like, open competition, uh, racing type event, uh, to where we could put some kind of, like, you know, a, a Visa credit card or something on the line so you guys have something to compete for. There's, there's some kind of incentive to, to win because I want to make it more racing oriented rather than just freestyle because everybody can go out there and do crazy wicked saves and freestyle i feel like racing in a game that is specifically made for destroying cars that's where the real challenge is so i don't know i kind of like to hear what you guys may think about it um we may do a poll we may uh figure out what we want to do um we may talk about it on the show who knows but we, we want to do some more community-based events, something that we can kind of do as a group with everybody that tunes in and watches our show. And, you know, because we, we love just hanging out and talking with people and friends and fans that are also part of this industry. It's just, it's truly just so much fun. And we love doing it every single chance that we can. Um, I would have to say the craziest thing that has happened this year, just, you know, being my first year back full-time in Monster Trucks, um, since 2019 and 2020 would have to be some of you guys actually coming up to us um, that know us from the Throttle Out show. It is such a weird feeling. Um, and honestly, like we're, we're, we're obviously grateful for it. Which we love it. But it's like, who would have thought, like, you know, looking back that we'd be recognized for, you know, an internet talk show that we just hit a thousand subscribers. So we're, we're nowhere near like, you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or lord even a million subscribers and just some of you guys that come to these shows are like hey aren't you guys the guys from the throttle out show and it's like it's truly humbling it's it's really awesome um but you know who knows where this is going to take us who knows where triple b is going to be going from here i mean it's just been such a ride for our very first year in competition and i cannot express how grateful i am and fortunate i am to even have this opportunity Hopefully before too long, I might get in a, a driver's seat of a real race truck, but who knows? Here in Minneapolis, the stadium is sold out. People are fired up and hungry for action. Okay. So 8,000 score points for a single wheelie. Uh, 20 destructible objects, which I'm pretty sure we can do that here, no problem. And then three somersaults, if possible. We got it. Good. So first things first, let's uh, knock out all the destructibles. Oh, well that wasn't supposed to happen. Well there's a somersault. I hate you. Shut up. You're not my mechanic. Okay. Okay. Oh. the side wheels and keep riding. Come on.
You know, we can just Stay take our time. Dead. Oh, not there you go. A little bit of a delay there, genius. Good lord. Backlash. But didn't manage to pull it off. Yeah, because apparently there's no such thing as lockers in this game. Okay, fifth place. It's better than nothing. I'm pretty sure I hit 20 destructible objects. I'm not sure. Yep. 20 destructible objects. So that's that's good and done. Um, we barely got away with first place, though. So good on us, right? All right. So that is three events in and done for our debut in the Major League. And... Like I said, guys, I really wish I could just up the difficulty because it's it's really not that hard. Um, you know, going to the major league, I was really expecting to kind of get myself a challenge, but as you saw, I'm not able to change the difficulty unless I wanted to completely restart my progress. Uh, something I should have looked into before I even started the series, but hey, you live, you learn. Um, but I don't know how many more videos we'll have of this series. Probably, if I had to guess... Um, three or four possibly and then once we finish the the big major league championship uh, and that'll be it for monster truck championship but we still got a bit of a ways to go but thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching and following the series and thank you guys so much for again um you're probably going to hear us say thank you a million times but we we seriously mean it um helping the throttle out show get to where we are today and at a thousand subscribers i mean you guys are awesome and we love each and every single one of you guys but this was Spence with the Throttle Out Show. Remember, when in doubt, throttle out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be good, guys.